Is it too strong to say that the assassination of Abe, uh, Shinzo Abe, or Abe Shinzo, led to what amounted to a, a big sympathy vote for the LDP and the coalition? I mean, it certainly seems to have affected and helped turnout. Well, maybe you're right, but the nation is still in the sense of confusion and without knowing what happened exactly. Uh, but uh, uh, Abe is certainly treated as a sort of martyr and ha having uh, turned the election uh, into a, a, a bench battle. But people knowing without knowing exactly what against the bench. So in that sense, uh, overwhelming majority of uh, electorate located between the Abe opponent and the proponents in a political spectrum find it much more easier to follow Abe's uh, line of foreign and national security policy. Well, so I should say, uh, revising the pacifist constitution, Article 9 to be specific, is something that uh, Kari was just uh, talking about. The other thing that people are watching is whether or not it's going to lead to a re uh, reduction or, or even reversal of Abenomics, uh, Shinzo Abe's uh, 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 main economic uh, platform, including ultra-easy monetary policy. What sort of sense do you get on, on the economic side? Economic side, uh, well, Abe uh, was sort of uh, a modern Bismarck of Japanese diplomacy. So he was much more skillful. On the one hand, he tried to play with uh, uh, free and open in the Pacific and try to soft, uh, soft deterrence, extending soft deterrence against China. And on the other hand, he bilaterally, he worked out to uh, fine tuning the very difficult relation with China. And also he had to manage a difficult relation with Putin. So he is not a simple uh, hardliner. As and again, uh, in this context, uh, his uh, economic management has uh, was pressed. And then uh, we don't know whether the Kishida will uh, have a skill for uh, maneuvering, um, uh, playing with uh, between uh, geopolitics and uh, geoeconomics as Abe did. So there is a great uncertainty 